Spanish Fraggle Rock. You should crawl under the covers and moan and whimper. In memory of Wembley Fraggle, who went to find a lucky walking stick for a friend and was squished to death by Gorgs. Oh! <laughs> Say no. No. Good. I've got socks to wash. Oh, uh, you go on ahead. I'm too dangerous. Tedium and drudgery are good for the soul. Boober. Laundry as we know it is a thing of the past. Now look, right here on this page, it tells you all about what has happened to your hair. Knock it off. Well, what's worse, a little knot in the tail or a gruesome death? I'd rather flap my arms and fly to the moon. I wish I'd remembered to wear my lucky orange socks. This was no fantasy. This was a prophetic nightmare. Do you remember me, your highness? Sugar lips. Argument nothing. It's an attempted coup. Oh, I'm not angry. This. I am furious! Ah! I'm worried about enclosed spaces and death and pain and spiders and words with R in them and do with the whole list or just a general overview. I don't know if I can do this. If you want me, I'll just be in my hole. Oh, Moki, there you are. Then you haven't died in the night. It's no good, Red. I'm useless to you. I'm a quivering collection of the worst and least helpful emotions. Go! Go on! Fear, Move anxiety, it. terror, Go paranoia, Boober. indigestion, Go. dishpan hand. Ah. Oh, Harketh, it is red. I mean, I mean, it is death. It is upon us. We'll be flattened. Flat. This is my kind of boredom. We couldn't let you be all by yourself when you get eaten alive. I don't mind being unhappy. I just can't bear the thought of a laundry failure at this point in my career. You have all the symptoms of someone whose life has no meaning. Hey, Gobo, did you borrow my mossy? Wembley, your brain is floating off into the sunset. Oh! Wembley, maybe you should start by humming. Anybody back from a long trip will have piles of laundry. Oh. You know how I love challenges. <laughs> Wembley, don't you realize that when you laugh, germs can get right in your mouth? I heard a squad once. But it turned out I had just stepped in a puddle. How's that? Nice. Good. I can see the gravestone now. Here lies Gobo's hat. Oh, oh. You want to change. Aren't you tired of being a no-good wizard? Yeah. yeah. It's not good for your health. I just have a sensitive palate. We could rid the world of germs. That would be noble. I can't believe I was foolish enough to promise I'd be there. Wendy, you want to come with me? That thing is spooky. <laughs> I vote we throw it down a crevasse. Uh, what do you think about individual quiches for our first meal on the road? I never thought I'd say it, but it's depressing, too. What are you up to? Oh, nothing much. Just saving the universe from destruction. Uh, 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 more tea, anyone? Don't you see? If Gobo wins, Rumpo wins. If Wendy wins, I lose and Rumpel still wins. Either way, we'll be even. Hi, Boober. Uh, get out of my teacup. Uh, oh, okay. I'm out okay. here. Well, fine. Grab a rock then. Uh, Moki. I wonder what it's like being able to feel your hands and feet. I mean, after all, you know what sweets do to you. First, they make you jittery, and then they make you tired. Oh, and... Okay, you're clean. You're clean. And then they make your tail swell and rot your teeth, and then they give you a stomach. Boober. What's huge and round and glowing and goes... Uh, <laughs> those grapes teach generosity the hard way, don't they? Uh, I just whipped up a fresh little batch of moss bouillon. It isn't you that's going to die. <gasps> Oh, well, neither are you. Don't even say such a thing. Don't even think it. <sighs> He's gonna die. Not to mention the psychological effect around trust. Dad! <sighs> How awful. It must be galloping tongue fever. Yeah. Call out the bouquet brigades. We've got to start stringing flowers around. I want you to pay particular attention to the high elbow action as demonstrated by Tosh here. You see, it's the high elbow action that gives you that scrubbing power. <laughs> Wembley, it's all in the timing. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. You go, Red. I have to keep stirring the sauce. Do you remember that time Uncle Traveling Matt sent us the postcard about when he lost his cat? Oh, yes. No, you don't. Oh, stand back. Give her air. Get back. Give her air. I'm here with the first aid. Although there's probably no hope for her. Oh, hi, Red. Hi, Moki. Hi, Boober. All right, now listen to me, court jester. I do not want you to do or say anything that might embarrass me. You got it? Got it! Oh, boy. There's some very good advice in this book about mysterious explosions. Uh -huh. Get away from them! Do you mean they're blowing?
bloodthirsty monkey wrenches slithering around Fraggle Rock? You know, I'm really <gasps> kind of disappointed. Strawberry fizzy water might have been wonderful in those little molded salads with, with maybe some, some celery or... Those tiny marshmallows? Hey, where did you guys go? I'm so tense and confused, I'll probably never get to sleep. <sighs> Red, you have no taste. This icing has been specially aged in small oaken casks. Well, Cantus better have a great reason if he thinks he's gonna drag me up to the Gorg's garden in the middle of the night. And I'm going to tell him when I see him. Hmm. Tell me what? <laughs> Now this, this here is a giant ball of string. <laughs> you see, uh, I guess everybody saves string, don't they? <laughs> well, let's just say I, I can't resist a culinary reference. Uh, Tosh! Honey. I think he may have been bitten by the gaga bugs. There's no antidote. Oh, Boober, you scared me. Gee, I didn't know laundry was such a scary word. Mm -mm. Laundry! No. <laughs> Boober, you don't understand. It's a surprise present. I've got no other place to hide him! Tuh. Potatoes. Coming, old queen of light and darkness! Can I let the air out now, Monkey? And then you know what comes at the end of that tunnel? No, but I'll bet my last radish you're gonna tell us. Uh, rocks. Yeah, that's it. That's what the silly creatures will understand. Begging and groveling. Well, you're in luck, because I just got a honey of a cold, Robbie, that I'm just dying to squeeze. Oh. Uh, don't ask me. I'm still reeling from the part where you said his peach and pepper potage was better than mine. Ah, the evidence is all in. This is neither a play nor a dream. Why me? Why my radish ratatouille? Fraggles are always blowing it and calling meetings, and, and, and meetings lead to parties and singing and group dancing and mm -hmm. frolicking. And, Young you know, games and snacks. Snacks, yeah. All that Junk food? Why, if it were up to me, the fraggle horn would be hauled away and broken up into little tiny pieces! Oh, not another great new song. They're always so thrilling. I'm sure it's bad for the digestion. Us? Go into outer space? <laughs> I'm the one with the cap over his eyes! Oh!